If you're in Ontario, please do stay tuned with us here at the Weather Network because we are watching some severe weather across the province. Northerly regions of Ontario are looking at severe thunderstorms now and into the afternoon hours there is a potential for tornadic activity. Environment Canada has issued a tornado watch for any of these areas, Sudbury, Huntsville, down through Barrie, all the way down to Windsor and Godrich, you're included. Essentially, this means that the ingredients are there to produce a tornado. Now, in northern regions of Ontario. So please do keep us posted again if it's safe to do so. We'll also keep you updated very shortly on Hurricane Irene. That's coming up in less than a minute. This is a line of thunderstorms hitting the area. In fact, we are in severe weather mode because Environment Canada has issued a tornado watch for many of these communities, including Godrich. By mid-afternoon, we're expecting a line of thunderstorms to cross Lake Huron and actually be in the Godrich area by mid-afternoon, and it could potentially produce tornadic activity, a tornado, because all the ingredients are there, according to the meteorologists. We are also watching severe thunderstorms in northern Ontario. We just have all sorts of calls from Sault Ste. Marie. Thank you so much to the callers, by the way, talking about hail and very strong winds, heavy downpours of rain as well. And essentially, that is moving out of the Sault Ste. Marie area. What we are watching is this line of thunderstorms march their way, continuing uh, to go east. And that's going to be affecting us in southerly regions. We're also looking at a lot of lightning activity. The white color that we're seeing, those are the, the most recent strikes that we're seeing. There's also activity going on to the south of us as well. So very active, a lot of uh, energy in the air. And what we're seeing here in this satellite image or this radar image is a line of, of thunderstorms that did hit southern Ontario earlier today. That's tapering off and pushing east as well. In extreme southwestern Ontario, we're looking at Humidex advisories. In fact, Environment Canada has issued a Humidex advisory. It's feeling like 40 for a lot of us. And really, with the cold front passing through, that's where you do have that energy to produce severe thunderstorms and that potential for tornadic activity that we are watching here. Stay tuned to the Weather Network. We'll keep you posted on that story. Meantime, across the country, we're looking at warm temperatures, very nice conditions across the West. Very different story, isn't it? The only place where we are seeing some rain is northerly regions of BC and the interior. Along uh, the eastern seaboard as well, things are looking quite favorable as well this afternoon. Temperatures right around seasonal and sunny skies. More to come. Please stay with us. I'm Kasia Badurka, and we are right now in active weather mode. This is your national forecast. Now, earlier this week, we saw a tornado in the Godrich area. An F3 tornado passed across Lake Huron, and a similar situation is happening today. We're in tornado watch mode. In fact, Environment Canada has issued a tornado watch for many areas in northern regions of Ontario, parts of the Nickel Belt, parts of cottage country, all the way down through Windsor. I know some some of you are seeing sunny skies and blue skies, and it could be confusing to you. But the more the it heats up for you, the more the more uh, sunny skies and, and it heats up for you in the daytime. Once the cold front does pass through for you, that's where we do see that potential for thunderstorms and very severe weather. Now, this is just a watch. It means the ingredients are there to produce severe weather, not necessarily imminent. We're also looking at some severe thunderstorms to the northerly regions of Ontario. That is happening now. Now I take you to footage of Godridge, Ontario, where once again at 5 o'clock Eastern to speak to area residents again and, and learn about the progress with that situation. Also, there is that chance of thunderstorms, a very good chance of sun thunderstorms in the area, so we'll be watching that. Meantime, I take you to a radar image of northern Ontario. Already, Sault Ste. Marie, things are tapering off for you. Thank you to our Stormline callers about that. We've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of light lightning and thunder in the areas as well. The white color here is depicting areas where the most recent lightning strikes took place. So a lot of active weather still to the north and it's making its way east. Into southern Ontario, what we're looking at here, this green line that's all rain that did taper off or it did move out of the area, that's what brought us rain in southern Ontario earlier today, making its way east. Now in the meantime, southwestern Ontario, it's very warm. We have a Humidex advisory 
well in place, feeling like over 40 degrees. And really, when it's this this hot and the cold front does pass through, that's where you have your greatest chance of severe weather. And again, tornadoes is a potential there. Now, across the country, things are looking very different to the east and to the west. First to the east, we're watching a system. It's completely tapered off. We had a lot of rains to especially Newfoundland yesterday out of the way. We're also seeing just a little bit of rain to the St. John area in New Brunswick currently. Also, northerly regions of BC, you're getting a little bit of rain right now, but nothing too substantial into the interior as well. Everybody else high and dry, temperatures in the mid to high 20s. And other cities, let's take a look at what we're expecting really quite nice indeed. Sudbury, take note, that's where we are seeing a lot of thunderstorms, especially for this afternoon. Hurricane Irene, we're talking a lot about this and we have updates on this hurricane coming up in weather news. Your long-range forecast looks like this. Unsettled weather continues to march east. This is bringing us the active weather in Ontario today, Thursday. The bulk of the activity is in Quebec, making its way into New Brunswick, not until the evening hours. In the meantime, the daytime is going to be looking great for you across the east. Across the west, high and dry, high pressure in place, sunny skies. Basically, no active weather. The only potential is for northerly regions on Thursday. And on Friday, really, no active weather across the eastern flank of the country. High pressure still well in place. Little active weather to the northern regions of Manitoba and Ontario. But essentially, high pressure in place for Ontario, southern regions, as well as Quebec. The bulk of the activity happening now in Atlantic Canada come Friday. It's going to be a rainy day, and it's also going to be rainy for you on Saturday when we may be seeing the bulk or we may be seeing some of the remnants of Irene affecting us to the eastern regions. Pleasant weather over the past few days has helped the people of Godridge go ahead with cleanup operations. But that could be changing today. Sticky air is moving into southern Ontario, and that could have temperatures feeling as much as 10 degrees warmer than reality. Thunderstorms aren't out of the question either. It's too far out to know exactly how Hurricane Irene is going to affect Canadians, but it wouldn't hurt to stay tuned. Forecasters in Miami say it could be a Category 4 by the time Americans start feeling the effects. Tourists in North Carolina are already under evacuation orders. Our own Chris Scott tells us more about Irene and how it might affect us Canadians. The earthquake in Virginia that was felt here at home caught just about everyone by surprise. But scientists say it's not surprising at all. The region has been seeing an increase in seismic activity in recent years. But predicting where a quake will hit in the eastern half of North America is still a challenge. We are in active weather mode. Hello, I'm Kasia Badurka, and you're right on time for your national focus, uh, your national forecast with a focus on Ontario, because we are watching some severely active weather, especially to northerly regions of Ontario and pushing into southern Ontario. In fact, currently we have a tornado watch in effect, issued by Environment Canada. I'll provide more about that in just a moment. But in the meantime, we are watching a line of thunderstorms march their way further east. Right now, this is our uh, radar image of the Ontario area. These are the storms that we had seen a little bit earlier, as you can see. And please do take note. Those storms are making their way out, but right now, crossing the Michigan area, crossing Lake Huron into the mid-afternoon hours, we could be seeing a potential for a tornado, especially off the shores of Lake Huron. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it is imminent, but forecasters are saying that all the ingredients are there to create a tornado, all the way from Sudbury, Huntsville, all the way down to the Windsor area. So quite intense weather we are looking at. And what we're looking at here is a radar image of northern Ontario and the storms that are crossing their way east, bringing a lot of lightning. And that's what we're going to be seeing right here. Lightning in the white, this is depicting uh, the most recent strikes. So Sault Ste. Marie, you had seen a lot already. And a big thank you to all the callers on our storm line. It is dissipating in the Sault Ste. Marie area, but it is 
further marching east. So a lot of active weather in your forecast. Meantime, a look at southern Ontario. This is the system or the line of thunderstorms that brought us a lot of rain in the earlier hours today. That's not bringing us tornadic activity. It's really more so uh, to, the, to the east right now, this cold front that will be crossing over the lakes and into southern Ontario. When uh, the cold front does interact with very hot temperatures, which is what we have, that's where you can really see the, the potential for very severe weather. In fact, Environment Canada has issued a Humidex advisory. It's feeling like 40 for a lot of us in extreme southwestern Ontario. So please keep that in mind as we head through the afternoon hours. I take you now to Godridge, Ontario. Cur now, meantime, across the country, it's much more settled everywhere else. The East Coast is looking quite great with sunny skies, temperatures on the rise as well. St. John's, you're reaching a daytime high this afternoon of 20. Now into the West, things are also high and dry, high, high pressure, well in place. Really the only place that we could be seeing active weather is to the northerly regions of BC. More to come in your long-range forecast. Let's begin your long range on Thursday, where the bulk of the active weather pushes east. That's the same system that brought Ontario a lot of active weather today and is continuing to bring us active weather, pushing its way into Quebec, into New Brunswick, westerly regions. You're going to be seeing it into the evening hours. Meantime, most of Atlantic Canada is looking beautiful tomorrow, high and dry. And that's really the same story right across the prairies into the west coast as well. Sunny skies and warm conditions. Friday, much the same across the western flank of the country, though we are watching that active weather continue to push east. That's where we could see the majority of the rain and strong winds into Atlantic Canada. It's essentially an all-day story for you on Friday and on Saturday as well. Take note, Hurricane Irene creeps into the picture at this point. Won't be affecting us in Atlantic Canada until, let's say, Sunday or even Monday when the rains do pick up even more. That's essentially what we're looking at right here. And through the prairies, really nice. 